This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 6. Some Chicago residents are growing fed up with what they say is the mayor's lack of communication on migrant housing. A group of concerned citizens holding a rally this afternoon voicing their displeasure with some of the recent proposals. WGN Zaina Rebic takes a look at the most recent housing ideas. Enough is enough, and we simply cannot take any more uh, migrants. We can't divide those resources, and it needs to be stopped, and I think City Hall needs to stop it. Morgan Park and Roseland residents speaking out against a proposed migrant shelter and tent base camp at West 115th and South Halstead. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Allies of Mayor Brandon Johnson, including Alderman Byron Sigcho Lopez, blocked a vote in council Wednesday that would have allowed the city to buy the old Jewel Osco building and surrounding parking lot for one dollar. But the proposal could come back up for consideration at next week's meeting. Now that you want to purchase it, you need to purchase it and put the programs over here for our children. That's all we are accepting. It's unfortunate the mayor's office isn't being completely forthcoming with that. 42nd Ward Alderman Brendan Riley upset about a plan to house migrants in River North, not at the Hotel Chicago, as he had originally heard, but at the former Museum of Broadcast Communications building at 360 North State in the Marina City Complex, a spot Riley feels isn't fit for a shelter. Stacking up vertically thousands of people in a building doesn't work. Um, had the Inn of Chicago gone better for Streeterville, we didn't see all the terrible things happening there. People might have an appetite to do something like this at Marina City. It is disappointing to see that it, it's playing out in our city council and, and other parts of town and there's tension behind people not wanting uh, the shelters to be in their own backyard. While residents and city officials are at odds, those helping migrants transition into existing shelters and permanent housing say all the infighting in the middle of a humanitarian crisis is frustrating to watch. I get where a lot of our, our, our residents are coming from. Uh, but the truth of the matter is they're here uh, and having them sleep outside in 20 degree weather is inhumane. The building owner of the Museum of Broadcast Communications told Alderman Riley that Mayor Brandon Johnson's team did tour the building and expressed interest in converting it into a shelter to house a thousand migrants. No word tonight on where exactly that plan stands. In River North, Dana Rebic, WGN News.